Hi, we're out on my back porch. I have to show you the cute little fur babies. Do you see those little cute little fur babies? <laughs> Today is a new style of video and I wanted your feedback. Let's go shopping at Target and see what sunscreens they have. What's new that they put on their shelves. They've just restocked all of the sunscreens. I am filming this yesterday. <laughs> so this is fresh and new. And if you would like for me to do more stores or if you'd like this once a month, let me know and I'll be glad to do it. But here is what is new at Target. I was a little embarrassed to talk as I'm filming, so I'm doing a voiceover. Let's go to Target. All right, yes, I've already been shopping in the kids clothes section. Target is running a sale where you get a free $5 gift card when you spend a certain amount of money. As you can see, there are Hawaiian Tropic sunscreens. Oh, there is my favorite, one of my faves, the Native Pineapple coconut scent. This is an all mineral SPF 30. The face sunscreen and the body sunscreen are the same and they are around $16. Ooh, it looks like Blue, Blue Lizard has new packaging. I picked up this Bear Republic mineral SPF 30 sunscreen. I got the Everyday by Unsun. A review of both of these sunscreens is coming soon. They are both under $20 and all mineral. This Bare Mineral Republic sunscreen is all chemical. I love the Australian Gold, but even the lightest shade, and it comes in three, four shades, I think, even the lightest shade is too dark for me. Has anyone tried, oh my goodness, I dropped so many sunscreens in this video. <laughs> Has anyone tried the Cet Cetaphil, is that how you say it, sunscreens? I have not tried these. This one is all mineral. A wide variety of black girl sunscreens. I have not tried these either. There's mineral, chemical, hybrid. This one is all chemical, I think. And the new kid sunscreens they came out with are mineral and hybrid. A good price point at $10. I haven't tried these either. Down here you have all the Neutrogena sunscreens that I stay away from. None of those are good. <laughs> in my opinion. I love the sun balm. Oh my goodness. Who else loves the sun balm scent? So good. My whole family loves the sun balm ones. Interesting factoid about myself. Prior to getting melanoma, I always used the SPF 50 by sun balm. However, I did not reapply. Uh, they have the Neutrogenas, but they're missing the medium tinted one. These are all mineral. I love these. I'm actually wearing this one today. SPF 30 comes in three shades. It's a glowy, a glowy formula. This is a new one. Neutrogena Ultra Sheer SPF 60. Has anyone tried this one? I have not. It looks like it's $15. And it is all chemical. Neutrogen Ultra Shears, those always burn my eyes. Neutrogena Baby, super white. That is like white cast on your skin. Thick and pasty, I don't like any of those. I have not tried the Target brand Sport. It is all chemical. And look at all these new copper tones. This one look, looks interesting. Every tone, it is all chemical. I wonder, it says no white residue. I wonder what color that's gonna be. Complete face, SPF 45, $9, both under 10, great price. I haven't tried any of the new copper tone ones. I do like a copper tone baby, but it does give a white cast, but it is budget friendly. It comes in like a pink and white bottle. All right, so if we go to a different section, uh, the Bliss Blockstar, I just finished testing this one out. I just have to edit the video, so you'll be seeing that one soon. Um, I, I tried the SPF 50, and they also have an SPF 30 version, but it's all mineral sunscreen. I've also tried the Verse. You'll probably see this one next week, I think. It is all mineral, SPF 30 and also a great price. And I think you get like 2.5 fluid ounces. La Roche Posay, I've tried one of these, but they're expensive, aren't they? I need to try more because I hear great things. Do you guys have a La Roche Posay sunscreen that you absolutely love and could recommend for me? I was looking for the Naturium 
which is a YouTuber's brand of sunscreen, but they did not have it in stock today. So I moved over to the Curology section and someday I will pick this one up. <laughs> it is Mineral SPF 30 Every Day by Curology. It's supposed to be a good brand. I've never tried anything from their brand, but it is $25. So definitely if you're gonna spend over $20 on a sunscreen, oh, I dropped it again. <laughs> If you're gonna spend over $25 on a sunscreen, I recommend getting it with a sale or a gift card deal at Target because they are always running them, especially this time of year when they are stocking, restocking sunscreens and preparing for the summer. Olay, this one looks new. It's an SPF 30. It is, focus, focus, focus camera, focus. It is all chemical SPF 30. There is a mineral version that's, I want to say it's a higher SPF um, that I really enjoy, but I did not see it here today. That one's under 30. Have not tried it. And here is another brand I've never heard anything about. I don't even know how to say this brand. And there was no price. There was no price on anything in this little section right here. And I don't understand why they would do that. I mean, it says... Has anybody tried this brand of sunscreen? I'm very curious. Looks like the type that would have a lot of essential oils in it. But I don't know. Um, here's that free gift card deal again. Pacifica had this glow baby. I'm not into glowy sunscreens, but this one is mineral. Yeah, it's mineral, it's zinc oxide, but it says glow baby. So I don't know, SPF 30, anybody tried this one? It's new. All right, let's go further down the aisle. Anything in Burt's Bees? No. Okay, Coco Kind. Never tried their sunscreen. This one is an, a mineral zinc oxide sunscreen. And wow, they give you a lot of facts about what's in. But again, no price point. Here's another one, a Silk SPF. This one is a hybrid. I, you know I love a hybrid sunscreen. Has anybody tried these? 